Welcome to Southeast Ohio Solar Haven. Well, uh, as you see here, getting ready for some ditch work. Going to try to fix this crack. There's a hole right here. That's, I'll bring you down to it. It's a cavern. Look at that. Ew. Deep hole. I'm going to fill it with concrete. Seal this crack up. Uh, I have a buddy of mine from high school that has a uh, concrete working business and he said he'd come by and help me fix this issue so got some stuff right here because we're gonna pre-dig this out before the weather decides to hit as you can see so once he gets here we're gonna dig this out get it all fitted up and ready for concrete tomorrow morning so I'll come back when he gets here I guess well it's the next day and uh, sort of early in the morning and uh, we're waiting on uh, I just well just got a call from the guy that's helping me do this <coughs> just got done pouring a footer or a concrete pad somewhere and they ordered extra concrete as you can see we dug out in front of this mess <coughs> but I can get down in here and show you what's going on see down in here there's a big cavern hole underneath here we're gonna fill this with concrete and then we're gonna pretty well put a about a foot deep foot and a half probably deeper than that probably about a foot and a half wall dam in front of it so Yep, I'll get back to you here when the concrete and the comes, I guess, and we'll pour it. Now it's pulled up. That's part of it will go down, won't it? Yeah. Just kind of run it low, easy. Okay. You didn't lock it. <laughs> hey, hold on a second. Alan, your aim didn't work. Well, we got it poured and we got just covered it up and I uh, left. I, I'll reveal it here after a bit, after it sets up and gets cured. We covered it up and kind of took the plastic and uh, cut a little cut in the ground there and stuck the plastic into the ground. That way, if it does have a downpour, the water will flow over top of this. And down the drain now we got some of the concrete pushed up underneath there and then we're going to use a special type of concrete sealer in this crack to seal this rest of the way up so uh, 
stay tuned here to see the pen you know for everything getting finished up on this Well, there it is. It's all finished up now. Uh, other than I want to do a layer of concrete over top of this to fix it up. So, what we did here, I said earlier in the video that we built a dam wall here. And I believe I said it was about a foot of 18 inches. It's actually about two feet deep. And uh, about three or four feet wide. You can see here, I'll put my foot down right here. That's a size 15 wide shoe, so you can, you can see how wide that really is right down through there. And then we put some, uh, it's supposed to be a paver block glue cement, and we filled that crack all the way down in. And then what we did here was I used like a polymer type of concrete to seal in there around the pipe that way it wouldn't leak underneath the pipe so I kind of you know done that and then once I get a nice little layer of concrete over top of this this will be much cleaner looking and this pipe travels across underneath the driveway here and goes across the driveway goes over here and there's a little drain ditch here now it's full of grass because I well mowed over it to clear off the high grass here but there's the opening down here for it so we're going to have to clear this ditch out that way and clear the pipe out because there's a lot of dirt settlement down in there so i'm going to have to clear the pipe out get it cleaned out that way it drains much better it does drain good but you know the water kind of flows over top there so we need to get that drainage better but uh yeah when i looked in the previous estimates to dig this all out and probably it was going to be about fifteen hundred dollars to fix it so i was like well that's not going to happen so uh we did a different route kind of shoved a lot of the concrete underneath there there was about a half to three quarters of a yard of concrete that went in here it doesn't look like it but and I got lucky because my buddy was pouring a slab somewhere and they had extra concrete so I, I might have a hundred dollars in this whole job so hundred dollars versus fifteen hundred dollars is a far cry from spending a whole bunch of money and if you know some people you can do it yourself you know or get somebody that knows what they're doing a buddy or somebody that can help you out you can get this stuff done pretty cheap so I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if it was educational to anybody, but there you go. <laughs> so, like I always say, click like and subscribe. It'll only hurt you once. And thanks for watching the video. If you learned anything, well, that's even better. <laughs> Later, guys and gals.